Hello everyone, it is I, Robbie Rapol, and thank you for tuning in to another Rad Movement YouTube video. Um, today I really don't know what I'm going to say, so I'm just going to start talking, which is usually how everything happens in these videos. Um, I've been going through a lot of cool things in my life, uh, so I don't know how much of y'all have been following. I have launched my coaching program, The Rad Academy, powered by the Magical Motherfucker Method. Uh, I have started launching that a little bit over a month ago. Uh, I've enrolled 12 people, and I am very excited to get it started. Uh, it's been a hassle. <laughs> um, because, you know, when you do things that, that, you know, are meant to be great... Sometimes they're a fucking hassle. Uh, and that's just what it is, right? So it's been it's been difficult to shed some limiting beliefs, which is funny because that's what the program, uh, that's part of the program, right? Um, so it's interesting how doing this program, launching this program, starting this program, wel welcoming people into my life to have me coach them uh, finally, because I've been so scared to coach people, even though I've been doing it my whole life for free, uh, I decided to turn it into a business and really, really, really help people go somewhere fucking way further. So it's been really hard and scary to do this, right? Because I've been like, so worried, like, what if I'm not good enough? What if I don't know what I'm doing? You know, what if... What if they they don't believe in me? What if I don't believe in myself? What if I just give bad information? And all this stuff has been popping up. And then, you know, going deeper into it, now I've got to convince people that this is the program for them. So the weird thing is, uh, the right people, they just come. They just show up. I just signed somebody up today. We were on a, call, a coaching call from another program, and he's like, he texted in the, in the Zoom chat. He goes, Robbie, sign me up. Hit me with the link. So I was like, holy shit, that's wild, man. So it was really cool uh, to have that happen. Um, and then the thing is, you know, I've, I keep saying, I've got to convince people. Well, the people that I've got to convince, they're not the ones that join the program. It's the people that are ready for it. The people that are dying for it. The people that are like, yes, yes, and mo, yes, motherfuck, yes. Like those people are like ready and willing and just jumping in head first. And so I'm realizing, you know, your vibe does attract your tribe. Uh, and the people that are meant to sit at your table are going to sit there exactly when the fuck they're supposed to. So it's been really, really, really weird um, how creating this program and launching this program has kind of forced me to embody it even more, but also has forced me to face some worries, some troubles, some fears, uh, you know, old wounds of mine that haven't been healed are popping up. And I'm like, wait a second, I'm teaching others how to heal their wounds. How the fuck can I, can, can I do this when, when mine aren't all the way healed? Uh, and that's the beauty of teaching, right? Um, some say those who can't do teach. Sure. Uh, I can dig that, but I don't really abide by that. Um, what I really love is in the spiritual communities and uh, in the, 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 the coaching communities, people focus on, well, you teach what you need. And so I've learned this in real life, how well that works in tattooing. Because when I started taking on apprentices, it helped me develop a curriculum on how to teach tattooing. And then once I had that, it made me realize, holy shit, all this knowledge that I have on tattooing. Look at how well you do on teaching tattooing because you already know tattooing so well. And by picking up the teacher's hat, <laughs> I'm learning how much I already know. But it made me a better tattooer because I was teaching. And so now I'm applying this to the coaching. So, I made the choice to become a coach. 
I've been wanting to do this for years. I've been a motivator for years. I've saved people's lives countless times. I've helped people come out of their shit countless times. I've had so many tattooers message me and say, hey, you know what? I started tattooing because you told me to fucking not quit. Or, you know, tattooers that hit me up and say, I, I, I am still tattooing because you told me not to quit. People just tell me how much I've done for them just by being me, just by showing what I am doing with my life. Because I decided years ago, fuck it, I'm going to start producing content based on my life. And hopefully it inspires some people. And it started with, you know, me trying to convince myself that, you know, if one person's life has changed, then I'm good. And really, I started to believe that. And now the cool thing is there's so many lives that have been changed because I'm doing this. And if it looks like I'm sitting here sucking my own dick and blowing my own fucking horn or tooting my own horn, um, I'm not. I face more self-doubt than you could imagine. I'm saying where I've been and where I'm going to let you know, you, 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 all of you, let you know that if it means something to you, if you have the desire, if you have a burning desire, fucking follow it. If you don't feel like you're ready, that's fine. You're still ready. No matter what, you're ready. Just because you don't feel like you're ready doesn't mean that you can't take steps and take imperfect action moving forward from this point on. Because when you start to take imperfect action, now you've got action. And then you can start to perfect your imperfections. And before you know it, you're killing the game. This has been the biggest, coolest, scariest, toughest thing I've done uh, work-wise in a minute. And you know, a lot of it stems from wanting to spend more time with my family. A lot of it stems from like realizing my purpose is in helping people become their best selves and really dive deep into who the fuck they are. So that's why I did it. And that's why I'm here. Um, but you know, way before that, started this thing. Even though I was scared, like literally, my man Chad, the Chad, You've seen him in other videos, if you've seen other videos of mine, possibly. Uh, he's not in all of them, he's in a lot of them. Um, the first videos we ever made, he came to my house to video me. And I was fucking shaking, man. Oh, I was like, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this. And then every time we'd make videos, I wouldn't post them. And after a while, I started telling him, like, hey, man, I'm not posting these because I'm scared. And then he'd look at me like I was crazy. And I'd be like, what, dude? And he's like, dude, that's fucking wild. What are you scared about? You're killing it. You're crushing it. Don't worry. Just fucking do it. You're killing it. You're going to do fine. And then he would, he would like laugh at me and be like, but dude, like you're, you're this motivation guy and you're worried. And yeah, I know. I know. So if you're the person that has some goods, right? You got some real goods in you. But you're like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't know if I should share this. I'm, I'm, it's freaky to share this. I don't even know, like, like now I sit in this room in front of this banner and I make these videos like it ain't nothing. I remember there was a period in time where it fucked me up thinking about having to sit in front of this, this video camera and speak to the people. And I was afraid I was gonna look stupid and sound stupid and didn't know what I was talking about. People weren't gonna wanna listen. Man. You could fuck yourself up all day long thinking about that shit. Or you could let that shit just be the fuel. The fuel that drives you forward. The catalyst that makes you into the person that you're dying to become. So now I've taken all the steps and I fucking did it. I'm so fucking proud of myself for launching this program. And for taking the step into the business of coaching because I never thought I was good enough. And the beauty is, now that I realize I'm good enough, whew, watch out. 
it's gonna get better. Because not only do I realize I'm good enough, I realize how fucking magical and rad I really am. I realize the fucking gifts I have inside of me that are amazing. I can fully acknowledge, accept, receive, and speak that I was put on this earth partially to be a healer to other humans. I can see and feel things that people are going through and I can help people work through their shit. And that's part of my magic. And I'm allowed to say that. So if you're watching this video right now, I want you to talk about your magic. Whether you say it out loud, whether you journal it down, whether you text it, whether you fucking write it in notes on your phone, whether you tell a friend, acknowledge your magic. You've got fucking magic inside of you. Acknowledge that shit right now. And then write it down or tell a friend or make a video. Hold yourself fucking accountable to the magic that you've got. Because the longer you fucking hold this magic inside of you, the longer you're going to fucking feel like you're going to explode. <sighs> We've all got magic. We've all been given gifts from the universe or God, the creator, whatever you want to decide is out there creating us. Whether you want to fucking say we're in a simulation, that's fine. The creators of this simulation gave us gifts for us to discover and see what we're going to do with them. So if you're ready, if you're fucking ready to step into your greatness, acknowledge what your greatness really is. And become the most magical motherfucking version of yourself. You make that decision now. Right fucking now. And you dedicate and you make a commitment to yourself that you are fucking magical. And that it's your fucking time to step into your fucking magic. That you're fucking tired of waiting around and feeling like you're not good enough. Whatever your magic is, it was put in you so you could put it out into the fucking world. It is your time. It is your turn. And if you're not fucking ready, it doesn't matter. Write it down anyway. I'm never ready for anything. <laughs> I'm never ready for anything I'm doing. I was ready to have a kid, but I wasn't ready to have another kid. I was ready to start another business. I wasn't ready to start another business. I was ready to start the tattoo shop. I wasn't ready to start the tattoo shop. But I fucking started. I was ready to start walking, but I wasn't ready to start fucking walking with my prosthetic. It's time. No matter what it is that you want to do, it is time to pursue it. You are magic. You have magic. You are the best version of yourself already. Now it's time to become that. Live that. Strip away all the lies. Stop listening to the fucking lies that you're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You're not beautiful enough. You're not perfect enough. You're fucking perfect just the way you are. And I know that's difficult to handle, right? But you fucking are. And you're ready. Because no matter what, you're never going to be ready. So just fucking be ready now. That's it. I had that little dramatic pause so you could sit with that for a moment. But seriously, you're fucking ready. It's time. It's fucking time. So whatever it is, go do it. If you're ready to become a tattoo artist, go get an apprenticeship. If you're ready to become a coach yourself, go fucking do it. Sign up for some coaching. Start a program. Whatever the, whatever the fuck it is, go do it. You got dreams to become an astronaut? Go figure that shit out. Whatever your dreams are, go fucking do them. Because the only thing holding you back is you.
Now that long dramatic pause was me almost falling out of my greatness. Because I was deciding, do I give these people the opportunity to join the Rat Academy powered by the magical motherfucker method? Fuck yes I do. Fuck yes I do. So if you're watching this video right now, and it is before Tuesday, August 30th, which is tomorrow, shoot me a DM, shoot me a message on my social media, Robbie Rapole on Instagram, Robbie Rapole on Facebook. And if you're ready to become the most magical motherfucker you've ever been, let's get it. And if that's not for you, that's fine. I'm totally okay with that. If it doesn't align with what you believe, if it's not feeling like you got a pull towards it, don't do it. But if what I'm saying right now makes you feel like, I need to be in Robbie's program, fucking do it. But if this, if this is making you feel pulled to something else, go fucking do it. Go do it. All right? It's time. It's time to acknowledge your greatness. It's time to step into your greatness. It's time to live in your greatness. And it's time to realize you've been fucking great this whole time. You've been great this whole time. So thank you for your time today. If you are going to join the Rad Academy, reach out to me right now. We'll get on a call ASAP and we'll get you enrolled. It's going to be a time investment. It's going to be a money investment. It's going to be tears, love, happiness, fears. It's going to be all the things, but it's going to be magical and it's going to change your life. And if you feel like you need something that changes your life, go find what feels like it's pulling you towards it. Chances are it's in the back of your head or in the front of your head or somewhere. Because we're usually just afraid of failing or afraid of succeeding. More so it's afraid of succeeding, which is a concept I'm trying to wrap my brain around lately. But yeah, I'm pretty, pretty scared to succeed, right? Because if I succeed, then that means I rise. And if I rise, I can fall. Good thing is, I've risen and fallen so many fucking times in my life that now you can't break me, bitch. And I want that for you. So like I said, whether you join my program or not, that's not what this is about. That's an opportunity for the ones that feel called to it to jump in it. But if you know there's some shit out there that you need to pursue, don't fuck around any longer. Chase your motherfucking dreams. Go get them. 10x the fuck out of your life. I love y'all. I'm Rad. And so the fuck are you? Have a great fucking night. Or day. Or afternoon.